All right, what's good? I go by Digital Crates. I'm representing for hip hop since 1987.com. We got a legend in the building today. Atlanta legend to the world. You know what I mean? Crazy. Been in the game for a while. Worked with every single right. one of your favorite artists. Worked with every single one of your favorite <laughs> producers. Like, been ahead of the wave. Oh, like, been ahead of the wave with the, the beats that you picked, the melodic type flows that you got, like, people you've worked with so ahead of your time. And it's funny how time is catching up to you right now. So salute to you for doing this interview today, man. And just I think before we get started, man, for the people that don't know, for the people, because there's got to be at least a couple of people that don't know. Maybe you could just tell them your name and where you're from and then kind of how you got your start doing music. Well, my name, Young Boot, to my city is the Blue Goat, the City Last Hope, all that. And um, basically, I came in a game. A couple of years back, you know what I mean, and made a good name for myself. One of those ones, as, yeah, as they no doubt. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. And your career is like well documented. Like you can really go back and watch the entire come up from beginning to yeah, the now. Growth, the growth, yeah, it's and everything. crazy. Yeah, most crazy. Definitely. So, what like kind of got you into doing music in the first place? The reason I started rapping was a response back to a group of dudes that in my high school that made a diss song about me and my crew. Mm. Like, <laughs> so I wanted to thank them first off, you know what I mean? And one of my homeboys who was, at the time, he was a part of the little crew I was in. His name was Quan. He's like my best friend. He died in 2006. Mm. So he was one of those ones that was like, bro, you can rap, so you need to do it. So when he died, you know, I took that and I ran with it. No, that's dumb. Where did the name come from? What's what's the origin story of Young Pook? Like my dad's name was Boot, <laughs> so <laughs> his name Booga Ball. So okay. it, was, it was it was a little Boot, and I went a little no more. So it was Young Boot. I ain't young. Well, I'm forever young, but it's Boot now. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. And like, what about like yeah. inspirations for your music? Like, I know you've been a part of the changing sound of Atlanta hip hop over the years. And the right. sound that the sound that came before you is very different than it was now. So it's like I'm just wondering who inspired you musically speaking. Me, I always like to have fun with my music. Mm. So that's where the like the melodic sound came from. And I always wanted to be different. Mm. Like and me and Schoolboy came in like at the same time. So like we had similar kind of you know, style. So we messed together like real good. Mm -hmm. Like in the beginning of my career, like that sound came from me and him. Mm -hmm. Like I can't take full credibility. He can't take full credibility. And like it's our sound. Like we we brought a new sound to the to the game. Yeah. How would you describe that sound? I know it's it's melodic, but it's hard. It's but... just like real yeah. Atlanta. Like yeah. it's Atlanta. Like when you hear that sound, you just think of Atlanta. Like that's that's real because it's like really nowhere else that has no, that kind like, of flow, that kind of sound. It's crazy. It's all about being yourself. Like if you're not gonna be yourself, who you gonna be? No, and that's real. And it's and it's been it's been like that even before you got the music, and even more so now, where culture there is so musical. Everybody's got like somebody they know that does music, and it just it's kind of like part of. Well, it's in the soil at this point. It's in the water down there, like, like for real. Everybody, everybody does music down here. Like my, some of my family members do music. You know what I mean? My little cousin, Matt Mark, he do music. He he actually dope. Everybody and their mama do music now. It's really become almost like a Hollywood. It's like the new Hollywood of America. Like Atlanta is where a lot of talent and style and culture takes place. Yeah, and the music scene is crazy. You even see, like, the DJ culture really built up. I know they just had the anniversary for Coalition DJs, ATL down there yeah. a couple of days ago. Yeah, I mean, it's like... the Coalition. It's literally, like, oh, I feel like almost every night of the week, there's a, a place for artists to step out, network, perform, and get opportunity. There's a million recording studios. Like, it's really a goldmine of music. And I think you're generation of artists and producers that you came up with is really responsible for that so it's like if anybody else gonna say it i'm gonna say thank you you know what i mean y'all really Man, put your feet bro. down and and stood tall and really did something for that city for real 
the audience is the reason why it spread it. So yeah. we want to thank y'all. You know what I mean? We wouldn't be nothing without without the fans and and the help and the support from the outlets, the music outlets and, and all that. So I want to thank y'all as well. No, and I, and I see it. Like, I'm a big fan of going through comments. I love reading the comment sections. And if you look through your YouTube. I do, YouTube, too. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. I look through my comments. I yeah, can say like, people really ride for you. Like, you got you get a yeah. lot of love. Like, the fan support is strong. Like, like I'm I'm just blessed and, and thankful that I don't have too many haters and stands and, and trolls out there because, like, I feel like I give out love, so yeah, I, I receive it. So I'm not like one of those, you know, rappers that's on this high horse, you know, too good to talk yeah. back. You know, I'm not like one of them. I'm liking comments. I'm reposting. Yep. I'm doing all that. I'm never no, too it's, big. For it's like that. that meme where it's like rappers in whatever Philadelphia, and everybody's pushing each other off the ledge. And then it's like rappers in Atlanta and everybody's helping each other up to the next level. And it's like really something about the system of the music game there in Atlanta is is really so solid. Like it's it's built on being solid. It's like really, you know, I'm sure there's yeah. things here and there that happen as we know, but like it's a pretty solid foundation of the culture there. And people support each other, I think, because it's so real. Like you said, everybody trying to be themselves. You yeah. got your circles in Atlanta that support each other, but you know, Atlanta's like every other other place. <laughs> but I think know? it's because because the city's so big. I think those circles, it's more regional. You know what I mean? You got people on the right. east side that big up the east side. People on the, you know what I mean? And that's kind of like what it is. It's like just so Monday. big. But even the studios, like you walk you walk into a studio in Atlanta, you never know who's gonna be there. Opportunity surrounds y'all, and y'all have really built up Most something definitely. crazy. If you like recording at one of those big studios, you you most definitely gonna run into somebody big. Yeah, or so a group, or a group, little, a group of somebody's, you know. Yeah, you can get your little feature here and there, you know. Yeah. If you if you in in a taking picture with rapper, you can get your little picture here and there, <laughs> and all that. <laughs> yeah, I mean the game is definitely different. Like we came in, I guess, like right before the social media stuff took off, and right. and now it's become like a real part of being an artist, it's like, so I'm just wondering for you, like coming up into it. And then now, like, how do you balance everything? Cause it's, it's a lot more to being a rap or a hip hop artist than it used to. It's, it's all new thing. now. Like, the, the crazy thing about it. Like I just got used to it mm. now, like this year, because mm. like I always been a, like an introvert. Like I don't mm. let people in. I don't too much say anything. So you're not going to too much know know anything about me because I'm not going to post my real life on Instagram or, mm-hmm. or nothing like that. So now it's coming to a stage where you have to. And you yep. have to let everybody in your inside and show them who you really are. So I'm trying to adapt to that. Yeah. You know? So <laughs> I've been going live a little more lately. Yeah. And the Instagrams and the social medias, when you're in the street, is a big red flag. It is. It is for sure. When you one feet with one foot in, one foot out, you gotta get the other foot out before you start letting everything yeah. in. So that's why I had came about it. You gotta be cool, you know what I mean? But you can't be too cool. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the social media yeah. stuff, it's like I think it comes back to what you say. You really just gotta be yourself and, and put put yourself out there in a way where people could see themselves in your shoes. You know, that's a lot of what right. social media is about. Right. And as far as the haters and the trolls go, if you don't got them, then you ain't doing something right. Because I know you must got a few, you know what I mean? I definitely do, but <laughs> it's to the point where I have more fans and supporters that I really don't even yeah. see. Yeah. And if I do see them, I don't got to a point where I can just overlook it. So much other positive stuff going on. Like, everybody have an opinion. So if you feel like, Say for instance, somebody say this is trash. Okay, cool. It's trash to you, but it's like three thousand other people that saying it's dope. So, yeah, and you you've really been through it too. I mean, just I feel like there's not many artists whose journey is as well documented as yours. Like somebody could really go to like your YouTube page, for instance, 
and see mm. the early vision and see all the different upgrades, especially even the mm. last two, three years, there's been a lot of a lot of upgrades for you. Like how did how did you make it through to get to this point? Like what are maybe some of the hurdles you had to jump over? Like what was the journey like from your perspective? It just stand down, bro. Like mm. believing in yourself. Like I always believe that every dog has a day. Yeah. I mean, and when it comes, you just got to take advantage of it. And I've been, pre- like, prepping myself for that day for the longest. Yeah. So now that it's finally kind of paying off, like, I'm prepared for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's it's crazy. It's like I, I say for a lot of young artists I talk to, I'll be like, oh, well, you're, like, league ready. But, like, you've mm-hmm. been in the league. You've been hitting – game winning shots like after game winning right. shots and now it's like almost like you getting into the playoffs here. Listen, I just look at it like six man. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he he don't get that much recognition, but he plays a big part yes. in a lot. And sometimes that six man turns out to be the star on the team. Yep. Now you're getting into getting into the mm-hmm. championship series right and down. there's a lot of big things going for you and it's like you you definitely earned it. I mean, you're somebody that's put the work in. But with all that you've done, like, what what at this point keeps you motivated to keep going? Basically, my kids. Like, I got mm-hmm. two kids. Like, my homeboys, my family. You know what I mean? My fans. My fans. Knowing the fact that if I don't do this, what I'm going to do. That's real. I focus on the thing that I know what's going to get me there and what I'm good at. And... I believe it's music. No, no doubt. And you really got some fire music. I don't know if you mind. Let's just kind of want to talk about a couple songs in particular, like really get into the music. Man, we're talking about like the early days of social media and YouTube, and you kind of popped off with Pipe Down, like a big record Mm. right off the gate. What's that like to drop a record, and next thing you know, you're in there? Like, what what, what did that feel like when you was jumping off? Actually, uh, me and my homeboy... Nietzsche, he he signed to um YSL. Like we we was just rocking. The beat came on and that's the kind of vibe I got. And that's basically how I come up with my music. I play a beat and whatever vibe I get, mm. I just go in go in the studio and, and just release it. Yeah, that's definitely like another question I wanted to ask you is about the, the actual production process. Like I don't know if you, I mean, I'm sure you've done it all. Like, I'm sure you've written to the beat. I'm sure you freestyle. But for you, like, catching a vibe, like, you know, sometimes I always say the hotter the beat, the hotter the song. So I know, like, when, oh, you, when you pick a beat, it's like, how do you know, like, maybe better question is, how do you know which direction to go with it? Like, as soon as you play a beat, you can feel it. Mm. Like, the first, I'll say, 15 seconds. I mean, if you if you can vibe to it and it, and it has that unique sound to it, yeah. I mean, rock out to it. Yeah, pipe down. It's like that's like for me. I I, I like to say like that. That was like the real sound of Atlanta at that time. Mm-hmm. And you had that. You had a lot of songs with those type of like catch and go hooks. You know what I mean? That had that bounce. Yeah. But then at the same time, like, you had a song that popped off OK, OK with, with Thugger, with Young Thug, which is, like, what the Atlanta sound is now. Like, I'm, mm-hmm. I, I just, like, I'm blown away how creative artists in your city are and how y'all kind of came up with this new sound. Like, One Love, One Mike, Real Life Shit with Shout to God. Like, you had some songs that was, like, ahead of your time. But, like, you must have known that you was, like, a little bit ahead, a couple steps ahead of everybody, and like I always, I always knew I was ahead of my time. <laughs> like when I got, when I first came in, like how people was accepting it, the whole, a whole new sound. I knew yeah. I was ahead of my time because it's crazy. Atlanta don't accept a lot of things, right? So it gotta be dope for them to accept it. So when once I started hearing other rappers like trying to made me the sound i'm like oh i got some yeah you know you're on to oh. something yeah you're on to something and it, it wasn't even the local rappers it was the big rap yeah so once you start getting getting them in there watching you know you got it and you've always had like just almost like an a and r's ear for the beats and for the collabs 
I love the work you've done with London J, who's like one of the biggest songwriters in the game right now, but put in work as an artist. Like even Schooly, like Breathe, and now recently what happened to Atlanta, like you got such a dope sound with Schooly, who I think is another one of the artists that's like ahead of their time, you know what I mean? Like, right. Right. Like, what, what's it feel like, I guess, for, like, the times to, like, finally be catching up with you? Like, what's it feel like? Now, it it feel, it feel makes me feel a little old because I'm like, y'all just not doing that. And I'm, I've been on that. Yeah. Like, it's all just now catching back up. Like, when we started, we weren't even thinking thinking about it like that. We weren't even thinking that far. For it to last that long and still be here and it's just still like a new sound. Yeah. Crazy. Now, and so much has changed between putting out albums, dropping singles, getting into the streaming era, the YouTube era. Like, and I know you're not shy about your business. Like, I know you've done label work. Like, you've done work behind the scenes as well as in front of the camera. Like, what's that balance like? Like, what's what's some some business stuff that you've like feel like you brought to the game, and like, how have you adapted to like everything that's going on right now? <laughs> like, it's a real process, but. I added what I added. They can't take nothing from me. Never, you know what I Nobody. mean. Never. So I feel I feel good about the space we in. But... Yeah, and that that what happened to Atlanta? That's a really special record. Like like, I I see people that I know in in the game, whether they're artists or on the press side of things, that's been catching on to that. And I think it's mm-hmm. like it's a story in that song that's was necessary to be told. You know what I mean? Some of these changes have not been for the better of what's going on. And y'all really put right. put a dope spin, a positive spin on everything that's going on because I know that the culture leads with music and we can make a change. You know what I mean? There's definitely a way. Oh, definitely. It's just rappers don't don't speak up on things like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's why I chose to do so because nobody wasn't doing it. I told you, like, I, I like being myself. Yeah. And doing the opposite of what everybody's doing. So if everybody want to make drill music, I'm going to make positive music. It's just going to be like that until I stop doing music. Yeah. And then you got a banger out right now. We kind of get into what's now, man. You got Easter Fit with mm-hmm. Pluto, man, with Future, <laughs> pr- produced by ATL <laughs> Jacob, who's like the hottest producer, you know, in the game right now. Also, somebody that really paid their dues over the years. Like, it ain't no oh, definitely. Future, too. It ain't no overnight success for any of y'all. You know what I mean? No, no, not at all. Yeah, maybe you can talk about how that record came together. Um, the record came together like studio futures in the studio. I walked in there and he was playing music. I heard that and I was like, that sounds like me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Let me get that. So man, <laughs> like the beat was playing or whatever, and he, he did his thing and I laid my I meant my verse and it came out like that. But you crazy. know, this is my big brother, though, so, yeah. you know. Yeah, it ain't got, nothing, we right? Got, we got, like, all kind of shit, so. That's wild. I guess you got maybe a, a remix on the way, something coming. Like, what's what's next for that record? You got the tour going on? A like... remix on the way. A remix on the way right now. I ain't even, yeah. even going to hold you. I, I ain't going to say what we want there, but he big, you know. Yeah. Like, he, you know, I don't, I don't go for the for the – the layups. I go for the three pointer. Yeah. So it's going to always be something big, you know? No, that's real. And it's like, and I think too, like part of, I'm not going to say it's like dead, but the, the remix part of the culture is such a cornerstone. And I think it's kind of almost a lost art of putting out that yeah. fire remix when you know the record is fire. So I know we're looking forward to that. That's going to be crazy when that drop. Yeah. And, and I just, and I'm about to drop a remix to uh, what happened to Atlanta. Oh, wow, okay. And then, like, kind of like you got this tour going on right now. What, what's coming next? Like, what you got in store for 2023 outside of these releases? What about an album? We going to get an album this year? Like, what's coming? Most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. I'm working on that right now. It's like 89% finished. Yeah, it's about that time now. Shout out to Black Ground 2.0. And I yeah, mean, that, that's the team. Yeah, you know that's, a, mean, that's a great to... look. That's a legendary name yeah, in, in the, the bears great look yeah, yeah shout out background a lot of people don't know how legendary background is but they gonna hopefully after this interview they're gonna do their research you know what i mean yeah, go go look that up <laughs> go look crazy that up. crazy i know you basically work with everybody but i'm sure there's got to be 
some producers or artists out there that you want to collaborate with going into the future? Maybe you could like talk about some possible collaborations you'd like to get into. Like, I want to work with all the artists that I ain't work with, you know. So, hold that black NBA young boy, the dirt. I ain't work with dirt. Mm. I'd be sitting up here all day trying to name all the artists I want to work with because I want to work with everybody. Yeah. I mean, and like the Lil Wayne's and the, yeah. my, possibly JP. Yeah. And I know where you're at too, it's like new artists pop up all the time. Like it's it's always new artists, always new producers. Like, man, it's like, if I'm like an upcoming artist, I'm like going to want to work with you. You know what I mean? I You somebody I feel oh, like... Definitely. You, People probably reach out to you a bunch. Yeah, they do. That's wild, man. And your fan base is growing crazy the last couple of years, but especially the last couple of months. It's it's up right mm-hmm. now. It's up. What's like a yeah. message you could give to the fans like this tuning in? No drop. Y'all can stop. <laughs> stop telling me to drop. I'm gonna drop. Yeah. Real soon. That's crazy. So be on the lookout for that. I mean, uh, I might be doing some little movies and all that. Yeah, and that was that was gonna be actually my next question is like outside of music, what's some other things that you want to get into now that you kind of like really put your feet solid down in the game? Like what's some other stuff? I know you said movies, but is there anything else you're trying movies. to movies? I'm gonna try to get in the NBA. I'm serious. Um, yeah. yeah, a little modeling, you know, all kind of things. I wanna put my yeah. hands in all kind of things. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna open up a, a nightclub down here in Atlanta, a lounge or whatever. Yeah restaurant something like that but i'm about to be doing a lot of a lot a lot a lot of things yeah now we ready for it we ready i mean something just maybe a little deeper to wrap it up like because you've been doing this for a long time like what's like maybe some advice that's been given to you that helped or some advice that you could give to like an upcoming artist that's trying to get into like a similar position that you're at in your career my only advice would have to be Never give up. Mm. Don't take no for an answer. I mean, stay working on your craft. Stay trying to better yourself. Watch who you keep around you. Everybody ain't who they say they is. And everybody don't want you to win. Just yeah. watch what's around you. No, that's real. That's like one thing about being consistent. It's always room for improvement. You know what I mean? People like Kobe stayed, stayed in the gym. Artists like you, I'm sure you stay in the studio, stay cooking like, Man, like, I really appreciate the consistency, man, and, and just really, like, paving the way for a lot of artists in your city to, like you said, be themselves and come up on this music. Crazy. Most definitely. You've done a lot, man. We really respect it. Looking forward to everything you got coming. Um, I don't know if you want to wrap it up, though, if you got any shout outs or, like, you know, thank yous or last words or anything. I want to give you the floor. Um, I want to shout out Black Ground 2.0. Shout out to Barry. I mean, shout out to Future, shout out to ATL Jacob, shout out to my team, who knows the label. I mean, shout out to uh, my kids, Kennedy and Cash, shout out to my mom and dad and my sister. Mm -hmm. I mean, shout out to all the beautiful ladies and (laughs) shout out to all the haters too. <laughs> that's yeah, it. of course. You know what I mean? They're the ones who's buying the tickets to the shows, I think, at the end of the day. Man. Most definitely. Most <laughs> definitely. <laughs> All right, man. We're going to keep supporting everything you got going on, man, going forward, man. I'm really tapped into what you going on, got going on. And I really see a lot of big more things in store for you this year, man. Just thank you for taking this time today. Major salute, G. Man, thank you for having me, bro. Appreciate you. All right, man. Stay blessed. Love.